What is up and welcome back to Cajun Toe Boulder Reviews. My name is Bo, aka the Cajun Toe Boulder. And today we will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Tigertron and also the Beast Wars Transformer Classic Tigertron figure as well. Um, if you don't know about Tigertron, I'll go off of the Beast Wars one. Uh, he is a Maximal who crashed down, but it's he started feeling like he was more in tune with the animals than the maximals and the predacons so he helped out the maximals and fought the war with the maximals uh on the maximal side and um against the predacons but he never really stood there he his love interest was air razor um in season two or three I think it's season three um or towards the end of season two um him and uh air razor get taken by the vok up and their sparks extracted from their bodies and their uh their exoskeletons combined into one tiger hawk um, which i do plan on getting that figure um, but their sparks follow um follow the body down to earth and whenever the Valk is taken out of Tiger Hawk by uh, Tarantulas who is in turn destroyed so I think it is season 3 that happens um, Air Razor and Tigertron sparks combine and they go into Tiger Hawk and then Tiger Hawk is, uh, is later on destroyed towards the end of the season um, so let's go ahead We'll move this over and um, I'm either going to put this one in beast mode or this one in robot mode and then do them both together and then change both the beast mode or robot mode, whichever one, and do them both together to test them out. But before that, cue the intro. Tigertron, maximize! out of the packages all right y'all here they are out of the packages and they do look a little different from each other this has the better design tiger face um i'll let you be the judge which one you like yeah i'll go with this one this has the better design looking tiger face i do oops sorry i do like that you can open up the mouth um, I don't like how it stores the weapon right here, but that's kind of a design thing from here because that's where the weapon is right here along with the weapon right here so um, They they really worked on Redesigning the toys for the kingdom line I mean you're never gonna beat the OG how are people like these but like I said the look is so much better this one actually looks like a Siberian tiger or white tiger. Um, I do like how it's like weathered and all of that. I do have the mutated Tigertron as well. Um, haven't done that one yet. It's the golden disc uh, collection one. So comparing them in the size. Oh, sorry. Let me move them over a little bit. So this one is a little longer. Um, this one I could probably get to stand a little better. Hold on. All right. Um, I do like how. The tail comes down more. It's not just sticking straight out like this one. Like I said, I mean, this was all early 90s. This is, I mean, almost 2020. So, about 2020. Um, so, I do like these. So, let's see if they have any articulation in the beast mode. 
So you have this, which ends up with the robot mode stance, the feet, and you got these legs that go up and down like this, and that's about it. And that fell off from the bottom. All right, and that's about all the articulation you have on the OG Beast Wars Tigertron. So on the Kingdom Transformer War for Cybertron trilogy Kingdom, you got a little bit of the head movement right here, and that's about it. You get a little bit of movement from the legs that go up and down, and you got movement like this. You got movement in the paws. You got movement in the hind legs as well. And that's about it. Right. So we're going to go ahead and get these both into robot mode and check out the articulation on that one. So just bear with me. y'all and here they are in robot mode um i like this one 100 percent better than i do like the og one um this one was easier to get into robot mode uh, this one was more complex but it looks like tiger drawn it it's just amazing looking i love the way it looks this thing just has a dirt cat on the front of it on the front of his chest and it doesn't even close in all the way it just look how far it sticks out it's weird um, so I don't like that you could barely see its head I guess if you do like this but that's just still weird looking to me um, it also comes with this one also came with the mutated face um, I think the original Cheetor came with that too um, I don't know where the mutated things came from. Uh, it must have been something like added. Uh, they were going to add to the uh, TV show, but they didn't. And also, one of the other, its other weapon is this. It's a, you can suck up water with it and squirt water. I'm not going to do that because this is going to sit on a shelf and I don't want that water meal doing inside. Uh, for the articulation, it's got shoulder articulation like arm elbow um knee and leg that's about it um the head kind of turns a little bit um i wish this went down all the way this one um I do like, sorry, let me fix the paw a little bit. There we go. Um, I do like how tall he is. I do like the look of the tiger, how close it is to his chest, not sticking out this far. Um, 
I like the two weapons to give them the gut gun like they used to call that one and the and the tail whip basically um, I like the utilization of his color scheme um, it's just weird that just this paint right here and the paint on his face are the only ones that kind of have like a sparkly tinge to them oops sorry y'all I dropped it um, so with the articulation you got his arms go up and down they rotate the head can turn this has no mutated look but they do have a mutated Tigertron toy that I do have like I said um, the legs set of they go back and forth and you get the legs the feet go back and forth so you got all the all the good articulation with the legs to get on the stand put them in different poses and it looks great so my rating on this one I'm gonna give this one a 9 out of 10 um, I don't know why there's two different color schemes I just think they should either went with this right here or the sparkly on all of the colors it's just, it throws it off with his face and this being the sparkly and this not um, this one I will give a I will give an 8 out of 10 because it was harder than this one to get into robot mode um, I don't like the design I know they are going off of what they had to do for the 90s in the 90s to get the toys to do this I mean we have so much better technology to get toys to do this now um, and it's just the way that this looks and doesn't go down all the way I'm, I try pushing it I don't want to break it um, so yeah an 8 out of 10 for this one 9 out of 10 for that one and this is the Transformer War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Tigertron and the Beast Wars the original the OG Beast Wars toy um, re-release of Tigertron uh, review um, if you were if you had this one as a kid or got it when it re-released and got this one when it released and liked it or didn't like it let me know like comment subscribe let me know what you liked about them let me know what you didn't like about them let me know your favorite Beast Wars character if uh, you want to search Instagram TikTok Facebook and now Twitter for the Cajun Toe Boulder you can find me and follow me on there if you um, know of any figures that you want me to review that you haven't seen me review yet any figure line let me know I'll be happy to look into it as well um, like I said most of my money goes to lightning collection so um, that's where that's what I'll be reviewing the most and I do the Beast Wars stuff like that I do some Ghostbuster stuff as well and I do horror figures but I just want to thank you all for watching Thank you for subscribing. Overall, just thanks for everything. And? Thanks for coming out. <laughs>